Currently on the PTR at the moment, they are trialling the Micro Holiday Ungoro Madness. Now, as per the description, the dinosaurs in Ungoro are getting restless, time to go and pay them a visit. So you're probably wondering, how do I get involved in this event? Well, what you'll first need to make, do is make your way down to Ungoro Crater. Once you're down there, you'll notice on your map there are random red X's, and there should be approximately three of them at any one time, unless one has recently died. And when I refer to as recently died, I mean at each of these three red X's, this should be a micro boss. Now, these micro bosses vary, and they vary between a Clutch Mother Zavus, Giant Fin, Sun Keeper Croesus, Queen Zavra and Trana Triantus, Sharazin, Acridir, Tar Tyrant, and Dadanga. Now, all of these bosses essentially drop the same loot as well. There may be potentially an achievement for killing all of them. Um, I'm s we're still yet to see what is actually going to come from a lot of these micro holidays. Um, all of them drop the same loot, which is at the moment just basically Dino Mojo. Now, this Dino Mojo has three, uh, sorry, has seven potential effects. The first effect can potentially be Poisonous Skin, where the caster's skin secretes toxins that will inflict 646 to 752 damage to all players within 100 yards every 3 seconds. The next is Adrenaline. The caster's adrenaline gland is hyperactive. Every 3 seconds the caster's damage dealt is increased. Heavy Footed. The caster is heavy footed any time the caster moves, nearby enemies are flung by the shockwaves their steps create. Spores, the caster's skin is infested with violet spores. Every 5 seconds a series of spores are launched at nearby enemies. Anyone caught within 0 yards of the impact will suffer nature damage. Caustic blood, the caster's blood, the caster is bleeding profusely every 3 seconds. A pool of caustic blood forms. Players standing in these pools will suffer 775 to 901 nature damage every second. And finally, chronometric instability. The caster tries... sorry, the caster ties to the timeline are unstable. Many abilities will echo the same location several seconds later. Now that's basically it in a nutshell, um, I'll just show you a couple of these bosses and um, I'll give you a very quick preview of how fast, how hard they hit. I'm actually going to get myself a little line up to run away because these things hit like trucks. And I say trucks in the sense that I'm a pretty well geared tank, you know. Yeah, I'm already getting like wrecked in about three hits here. Time to blow cooldowns and run. <laughs> Hopefully it should reset before killing me. There we go. I almost died running away and that was with my cooldowns. Oh no, scrap that. I died. <laughs> Even with my cooldowns. So, yeah, you're basically going to need a full-on raid party to do this. Um, currently up on the PTR at the moment, we've got Queen Zavra. Um, we also have Dadangra, Dadanga. And Scro Scrox. Ah, that wasn't originally on my list. I'm going to have to go check out what Scrox actually is. I probably should have just accepted the corpse. Uh, actually, no, screw it, I will do. I'm not going to try and fight one of these things again. Hmm, interesting. I didn't think I've even come across Scrox before. There probably is a good side note that these uh, micro holidays that I'm covering at the moment are probably going to be very subjective to change. Uh, you've got to remember that these are on the PTR and anything on the PTR can change at any one moment based on community feedback or developers just thinking, nah, that's not going to happen. Wow, so that's Scrox. 
Interesting. I don't really think I've seen that sort of model before in game. There probably has been, but I don't think I've seen it. Well, might as well show you the uh, the Dangra as well while he's about, because these ain't going to rotate anytime soon on the PTR. No one seems to be too interested about killing them. And this is Dedanga. Well, basically, that's the micro holiday in a nutshell. Now, if you found this video useful or helpful or informative, feel free to give us a like, share, or even subscribe. And if so, I'll catch you next time. I'll see you later.